Hi, it's me again, and our opposition is really pushing one idea at the minute. And it's not good, because it is the one idea that means that we lost our fight against the TV licence and BBC. Right, it's the only way we're going to lose. Even if the TV licence stays, the charter gets renewed in 2027, we can still opt out. And those of us who don't want to pay it don't have to. So this isn't good. Have a look at this. TV licence could be linked to council tax in radical shake-up. New plans mooted. So it's similar to how they do it in France. I believe in France your television licence tax is included on your council tax. And France are trying to get rid of it and all of that. That's a debate for a different day once I've got more information on that. But if they put it on the council tax, how do you not pay the TV licence? Will they have an exemption like that we have currently? Or will it just be a blanket thing that gets included on your council tax? And your council tax is already unfair enough. Don't even get me bloomin' started on council tax. Now, they've been talking about putting it either on your broadband bill, on your council tax, or on your pay slip, and making it means tested. And that way, the people who earn more pay more towards the BBC. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Ms Dorries told LBC the government were considering a number of options going forward. One of those would be to tie payments to council tax rates, a similar system to Germany. She told them Germany doesn't have a licence fee anymore. I think if I'm not very much mistaken, it's added on to council tax, so those who are wealthier with higher council tax pay more. Yeah, because council tax doesn't cost enough already, does it? My old place was a one-bed flat, and I could not believe the amount of council tax they wanted for that. They weren't even in that good an area. It's un -blimmin believable. So I don't know what's going to happen with this. I mean, there's loads of different ideas coming out, as I say. Council tax, sticking it on your broadband or your phone bill, or just putting it on your pay slip. You know, and uh, the pay slip is the one they really want, because then it's paid individually not per household. If they stick it on a council tax, it's still by household, isn't it? If they can get everybody to pay a media tax on their pay slip or on their pay or on their tax returns, however they do it, they're going to get it individually. That's going to be a lot more money. A lot more money for the BBC, isn't it? We already get 3.2 billion quid a year and struggle to make that last. There's countries that can run a, you know, their full GDP isn't 3.2 billion quid a year. And the BBC have to cut jobs because they can't, they ain't got enough money. So yeah, one of the things she said, it was a tweet of hers, you know how much I love Twitter. The days of the elderly being threatened with prison sentences and bailiffs knocking on doors are over. Time now to discuss and debate new ways of funding, supporting and selling great British content. Now she has talked a lot of good stuff, but we're not seeing a lot of actions. Is she going to be the one to get rid of the licence fee? Probably not. Is she going to be the one to change the licence fee? Yeah, probably. Probably will change it. For the better? Pfft. When was the last time the government changed anything for you for the better? Ms Dorries stated that during the cost of living crisis, the government could not justify asking Britons to pay more for their licence fee. She added, this is a fair settlement for the BBC and the licence fee payers. The BBC must support people at a time when their finances are strained Blah, blah, blah. So she's talking there because she got the licence fee frozen for a couple of years, didn't she? Got it kept at 159 quid. And that was to help us, us little people, with the cost of living crisis, which I reckon probably saved us, what, a fiver a year per household? God, what a difference that's made, eh? That'll really help out with your electric bill or your food bill or your petrol bill, won't it? Fiver a year. The government don't care about you. They care about themselves and their corporations. And one of those is the BBC. So what's going to happen, I don't know. But it's quite an exciting time in this whole area because this charter expires. The Royal Charter by which the BBC exists expires in 2027. So the license, well, the funding model they're going to adopt has got to be sorted out before then. Or they just talk, 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 as always, and don't resolve anything. So they have to get another TV licence fee period of 10 years, whatever, to cover the more talking. Which is possible, which is possible. And if it's that or a tax, I'll take that. Because you don't have to pay it as we currently exist. You know, if you don't watch anything that's been broadcast or use iPlay, you don't have to pay it. So if it's an extension, it's an extension. That's still better, still better than a media tax, isn't it? So what do you think about this then? Do you think Nadine will change it for the better? Or do you think she'll change it for the worse? Or do you think she won't be able to achieve anything 
because by the time all this is getting sorted out, she'll be out of power anyway, and whoever comes in will just reverse the lot of it, which is quite possible as well, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because if you do that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.